When you have Asperger's syndrome, all the time, you're doing things that make perfect sense to you, but everyone else thinks you're crazy for. I personally think you'll probably do a lot of things that make a lot of sense. The rest of the world, they may not think so. Take, for example, the way I approach life. I like to have a lot of personal transformations. I think it's a good thing, but a lot of other people don't understand. And furthermore, when the transformations happen, either people don't understand all the levels to it, they just pick out a surface level, a superficial level, or else they miss it altogether. When I was a senior in high school, I made a major transformation. I came out of my shell. I did a number of things that were certainly radical and certainly bold. People responded very interestingly. Some liked it. Most people were taken aback. For example, senior year, I wore a flannel shirt with my chest sticking out. Some said I was like Fabio, the one cop at the school told me to button up, so I did. I also made this shirt that definitely wasn't worn by everyone in the school. It said on the front, just say no to capitalism. On the back it said, just say no to communism. In biology class, I asked the question, is this class biased towards dialectic materialism? I had read some of Karl Marx stuff, some material about him, and I mentioned how he was influenced by dialectic materialism. The class laughed. What a response. It wasn't the response I was expecting. Also in that same biology class, I read a poem I wrote about hemispheres of the brain because the teacher was talking about hemispheres. And I asked if I could read a poem. And she let me. In government class, the professor, student teacher, saw my shirt. It's just saying, no capitalism. So he says, so you're a socialist. And then I show the back. And he says, oh. And, and I said, just say no to communism on the back. I still believe in that view, but I've evolved it considerably since then. And then, the per, then the student teacher asked if, then I gave him one of my zines that I wrote about that very topic and then he told me later we will have you contribute in class but we can't have you dominate and that's the way it was I learned to go back and I learned despite all I knew about these government and political things I didn't know the social stuff and I had a friend who gave me wise counsel that year and really helped me further get out of my shell